Did you ever get involved in any game? First game that I was involved with was Rock Crew. It's officially 2024, and the Young Thug YSL Rico trial has resumed. Now, stop because one of Young Thug's co defendants was stabbed in jail. The trial took an interesting turn when they brought in YSL Slug, someone who they labeled as a YSL co founder alongside Young Thug and a witness on the stand. Now, I know everyone, especially the real screen niggas, have this approach that anyone who takes a stand for any reason is a rat or a snitch, but YSL Slug had a very different game plan. So YSL Slug, who also goes by YSL Tick, is a state witness for the prosecution. Now Tick went on there and they began to ask him questions about his rough upbringing in Atlanta and basically to paint the gangster image of him and Young Thug. First they got him to essentially pledge his allegiance to Rock Crew, which is raised on Cleveland. Yo, did you ever get involved in any gangs? <clears throat> yes. Tell the jury if you were the first gang that you got involved with. Um, first gang that I was involved with was Rock Crew. Were you the only member of Rock Crew or were there other members of Rock Crew besides yourself? Yes. Look, I don't care what anybody has to say. Did he take the stand? Yes. But is he incriminating anyone? No. He really didn't even say anything that incriminated himself other than what they already knew. He smoked a lot of weed, he sold weed, and he had prior arrests for smaller felonies, and he has a criminal record. Basically, everything that they already know. And that stuff that went on in the past is the reason why he took a plea deal in this trial. Because he's listed as a witness in this trial, so he can get less time. Any question that they asked him, bro was giving them the straight runaround. He was ignoring things, he's acting mentally slow, like he didn't understand the question, asking him to rephrase what was going on. And the prosecutor simply pressed him for the answer saying, Name dropped the members of Rock Crew, and his answer was kind of shocking. Other than Mr. Porter and your two brothers, would you please tell the jury, and Mr. Scott, please tell the jury other members of Rock Crew who were members during the time that you were a member of So you want me to name everyone that I like, grew up with, basically? I would like for you to name for the jury other people who were members of Rock Crew during the time that you were a member? I mean, are you going to like tell them to stop or like, is there a certain amount of people you need to name anything? Would you please just name some of them? Just some of them? Just name some people. All of the ones you remember who were members of Rock Crew. Everyone? Mr. Stevens. Could you please name the members of Rock Crew who are members by you or a member? I probably wouldn't even be able to name everyone. Name the ones you can name. So, um, again, I probably wouldn't be able to name everyone first and last name. So I got my next door neighbor, we can work together. His name's Martha. I need you to just name the members of Rock Crew. Not friends, not people you grew up with necessarily, just... If you would just give the names of the people who were members. So then he starts to name drop his neighbors, his cat's uncle's brother, his dog's uncle, Sock, and a bunch of other people and materialistic things that have nothing to do with this trial, showing that he's playing in the prosecution's face. So they started to ask him more questions about him as a juvenile youth, and actually asking him how old he was when he was 12. Not sure what they're trying to get at here, but they're trying to say that he started being a gang member at 12, which is the Rock Crew. And just listen to how this played out. Who is depicted in State's Exhibit 2 uniform? Me. All right. And what part of your body is depicted in State's 2 uniform? Right. Is that the left side of your abdomen? <clears throat> left side of my abdomen. Right. Yes. And are there letters written on the left side of your abdomen? Yes. Are they still there? Yes. Is that permanent ink? Yes. Would you tell the jury what the letters that I'm pointing to are? There they go. Oh, a Y, a S, and an L. All right. And um, are they colored any particular color? Yes. What are they colored? Red. And is there a sign or anything else above the Y, the S, and the L? Yes. What is that? A Corvette's car symbol. Okay. Now, is there a sign to or a picture to the left, and in particular here? What is this? Um, a marijuana plant. All right. And below that, what is depicted at the bottom next to the L? 
uh, a, a wad of money. Okay. Then they ask him to show gang signs and the hand signs. And basically, the pledges of allegiance, which he said that he needs another hand. Showing that, obviously, when you do a dapper hand sign, you're usually doing it with someone else because it's a handshake. They proceed to ask him to point out anyone in the courtroom that he believes are a member of the Rock crew. In which they basically wanted to point out Young Thug, but he's not going to because why would he identify him as a member of the Rock crew when he's basically trying to prevent Thug? Yes, he's in jail because he did his thing, but basically him going on the stand is so that everybody can get out of jail. He's going to say the least, but he's also not going to be in jail for a while because he took the stand. So it's a bit of a very uh, imbroglio situation. Since they weren't getting anywhere with any of these questions, they started to pick apart his personal image and dissecting the meaning of his neck tattoos and asking him various questions about why he got these certain images such as the guns and different colors that he had inked on his body. 